everybody. So I've got a Hobonichi haul. So I ordered from the, um, the spring collection that was released at the beginning of the month. Um, this is my first time actually ho uh, ordering directly from Hobonichi in Japan. So <laughs> I didn't do that last year in the fall because, you know, I wasn't sure about how much uh, it was going to cost to ship with FedEx. Um, you know, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be pricier, especially when you have a heavy planner inside um, that you're shipping. So um, I decided to go ahead and just do it this way since it was only covers that I ordered. So let's go ahead and open it up. So I'm glad that I finally got the pink box. So I'm going to store all of the other Hobonichi uh, items that I ordered from last year. So the only thing I was surprised is that I didn't have an invoice in here, you know, to show. Um, but that's okay. I mean, hey, I'm just glad that I got the stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get the box out of the way. Now, I ordered this on, it says it in here when it shipped. Okay, so I ordered it on a Tuesday, so that was on February 15th, and this shipped on February 18th, and I got this on um, February 21st. Pretty fast, because I've said before, I live in Memphis, and the hub for FedEx is here, the main hub. So yeah, so that's why I got it pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and get started with the actual covers, okay? So the first cover that I got were, well, actually the two that I got were the only two that they released. Um, and this one I had to get because I do love this print and I love that it's got Mount Fuji here. This is, what was this? Hold on, let me just take it out. So this cover is by, make sure it's still in frame, it's called 36 Views of Mount Fuji, uh, Kajikazawa in Kai Province. This is um, the Edo period, 19th century. So this was made by Katsushika uh, Hokai, I can't even pronounce it, but I don't want to butcher the name, so here we go. But anyways, so I really love this blue and white cover and the print, it's so traditional Japanese. Um, I don't know when I plan on using this, maybe when I get tired of using the current one that I have, which is, hold on, let me go and grab it really quick. I should have paused the camera, but that's okay. All right, so here's the current cover that I'm using right now. Um, this is the, what was it called? I forgot. Reasonable prices for sweet things that aren't cheap. That's the motto, but I don't remember what the name of the cover was. But anyways, um, yeah, this is what I'm using. So I attached this like um, plastic key. I think it came from like a Sanrio item that I had. And then of course the spoon that I purchased separately from somebody. So um, yeah, so I'm just gonna give you a quick overview here really quick. This is the 2022 Cousin, um, Techo Cousin. And yeah, so this is what I'm using right now as far as a cover. So anyways, um, this one is like a, some kind of like a, uh, I want to say almost like a vinyl canvas, but it's pretty durable, but I did purchase the cover on cover because I always want to protect it. So here's the inside. I love this right here. And um, so I think this is from the Tokyo National Museum. So that's got its um, initials right there. Okay. And when I purchase covers, it's mo for my planner. It's mostly going to be a A5. Uh, A6 is just too small for me to use as a um, daily planner because I tend to write a lot of stuff. All right, so moving on. We have here, 
this beautiful shabby chic looking one. So let me take it out. And this one is, um, it says Classic Fabrics. I think that's just the name of who designed it. So it's in this kind of dusty pink. Let me get the card. So, oh, it's, this is all in Japanese. Okay. Oh, no, here we go. Um, it doesn't say. I know. I should have been prepared um, with the names, actually. Let me look it up really quick. Um, so both of these covers were pretty, you know, pretty reasonably priced. I mean, they were like probably $32 maybe after the um, conversion. So that's not too bad. I, you know, I could have waited and, you know, to see if they would put them up on the Amazon uh, website, but I doubted that they were going to because they seemed like they were, not that they were Japanese exclusives, but I, I just didn't think that they would really put them up on there. So yeah, that's why I didn't really want to hold off on um, ordering them, waiting and ordering it from there because I might not get them. So, all right. Trying to find. So let's go on the website here. Okay, it's called Petite Roses. So, um, I, you know, I'm not a very big pink person um, in terms of color, but there's something about this that's just, it's, you know, it's so classic and really beautiful. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use it. I just like collecting them. So, but this one, I love the ins the way this feels on the inside. I don't, it's almost, it's almost like a brushed um, fabric of some sort, but I like the little pen loops, the design on there. And it's also like the other one where it's like a vinyl or canvas. I don't know how to describe it, but um, yeah. I also purchased a cover on cover for this just in case if I do decide, I mean, I've always wanted to get into Hobonichi, but you know, I just wasn't able to really afford it until just last year. So now I'm like deep diving into them. <laughs> I have more covers than I have actual planners, but that's okay. Cause you know, I'm there, they may have put something out next fall that I'm just not going to like, there's nothing that I really, you know, want, but at least I have plenty of covers to, um, to choose from for my own stash so yeah like I said I did get two cover on covers um, I'm always gonna make that a rule whenever I order a cover I'm gonna order another one of these even though yeah I mean I could order them here but it's just easier I don't, it's a no-brainer so I don't have to worry about um, you know pulling one off because when I decide that I want to take this out, all I have to do is just pull out the planner itself and then just, you know, switch it. Oh, by the way, so this is what I have in here. So I've got stickers that I bought from, uh, what do you call it? Michaels, so to use, because spring is obvious, oh, sorry. Spring is obviously gonna be around the corner. And then I have some of these that I've ordered from, I think these were from Stationery Pal, which I have yet to start using but they're rub-ons, so it's that's really good for um, for something like Hobonichi because then, you know, they're very, very thin and they're not gonna bulk up the pages. So I just keep them back here. Oh, here it is, as far as like the name of this particular one. I don't like using these, so I just tuck them in so that they stay out of, you know, the way. So, yeah. That is my haul from Hobonichi. So I'm still waiting for my other um, order from Art Atelier and it's stuck in Indiana. I don't know why. It's, um, it's not Art Atelier's fault. It's actually the shipper, um, Pitney Bowes. <laughs> so I've already put out a um, inquiry for the post office to search and I already got back um, a reply from my local post office that they're gonna look into it because it's been more than 30 days and I haven't received that box and I should have got it within like two and a half weeks, three weeks and yeah, it's been a month now. So hopefully I'll have that soon and I can do a haul on that. But anyways, I hope everyone's had a great week and a great weekend. All right, bye-bye.